Hello, my name is Alicia Estrada and welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today's video is going to be basically me trying to figure out how to finger coil my curly hair. So this is my hair just washed. Um, I didn't shampoo, I just conditioned this part of my hair. I don't put any conditioner on my scalp because I know that the product does tend to weigh down your roots. And I don't want my head looking like a triangle, I want it to look voluminous. So, um, all I've done right now is just sprayed some anti-humidity gloss and shine mist from the Argan Oil brand. So I just sprayed this throughout my hair just because it is crazy hot outside and my hair does tend to frizz up. So I basically split my hair down the middle as best as I could. I didn't really want to have a perfect line just because I don't really care to have a perfect line. Um, but I did try to part it. And now I'm just going through my hair, trying to figure out what needs to be finger coiled. I'm thinking mostly this part of my hair. Um, and I think a couple of strands closer to the back. I don't know if you can tell, like these strands are definitely um, really straight or a lot straighter than the rest of my hair. So I'm gonna try to finger coil that. But basically, if you don't know what finger coiling is, it's just when you twist the hair um, and then try to train your hair to curl in that specific pattern and so what I've seen in a lot of videos is just putting hair cream or hair product in your hand and then going throughout the hair and the pieces that you intend to finger coil. So I'm gonna start off with the top part of my hair and just rub the product throughout it to make sure that it's been coated and there's no knots. What I've seen is doing this, wrapping it around your finger and pulling down at the same time. And just pulling down and then using this, oh wait, no, using this kind of method. I've seen people like they use their hand, but I don't know how they do that. But basically you wanna have tight coils let your hair dry like that and then pull the coils apart and you'll have big voluminous curls and your curls will look a lot more defined. So this is just the first one. And basically, the hair cream that I'm using is the Cantu Curl Activator Cream. So it just looks like this. I just put a little bit in my hand and I just make sure to coat the strand of hair that I'm coiling. I know a lot of people tend to use um, gels to, to hold the curl a lot better. I just don't have any gel with me. So I'll probably look into that. But I do want to start trying finger coiling a lot more. Um, it's definitely, I've, I've seen videos and I like the results on the YouTubers that try finger coiling and I just want to see how it'll work out for me. I used to do it when I was a kid, um, only we didn't know that's what it was called. My mom would just curl our hair with her fingers and have really nice ringlets. And we used to joke around and say that we looked like um, Shirley Temple. So I guess I'm looking for the Shirley Temple kind of curl. So for the most part, I don't know if you can tell, my hair has been as much finger coiled as possible. I mostly just focused around this area, um, and you can hear the alarm in the background, I'm sorry. Um, and then this part, not so much just because I noticed that the back of my hair tends to be pretty good. There's some strands at the far back that I managed to coil, but for the most part, this is how it's looking. I'm going to wait for it to completely dry to take apart the coils, and then I'll let you know the end results and what I think about coiling. 